Hit Film Express Tutorial, Complete Beginners Tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you guys how you can get started with Hit Film in a very quick and easy tutorial. So let's get into it. Now, Hit Film is an amazing and super powerful video editing tool that enables you to edit videos. I would compare it to other tools like Adobe, and you know, it's really a platform that has simplified all your needs, and you can get started right away just by clicking on download for free on fxhome.com. And you can see over here that their free version has the hit film free version and you can do a lot of your basic editing via their free version. You don't need to upgrade at all and that's what we're going to be doing today. So once you have downloaded hit film, this is going to be your sample space. Now I have already downloaded this, but once you download it, you just have to install it like you would for any other application. And once you do that, you will be able to see this simple section. So this is like a sample project that you can use to begin working with. So you can choose to, you know, use this as a sample to get started. And I'm going to be using this sample to actually show you guys how the features of this platform work. So first off, you can see on the right side, you have the basic media or the video and then you have a trimmer section so in your file section you can click on new and you can choose to uh, import a template or the editing uh, section and you can restore them to their default but you can also choose you know the frame rate the aspect ratio all that good stuff and begin your new project and you can also click on open over here and you can go into any of your videos and you can click on Vegas project, HTTP film project, and you can import videos from there as well. But you can see over here, we have multiple different categories. I'm just going to close that over here. But you can see you have tutorials and I can click on interface tutorial, all tutorials. So you can choose any kind of tutorial you want and you can begin importing as well. Once you have, uh, you know, learned uh, everything, you can close this. So it closes up the learning tab. Now... Once you've done that, so I'm going to actually open this up and I'm going to uh, take the first project. I'm just going to click on open. So just going on to hit film. So if I turn on the learn section, I can even use the learned features uh, on my own imported video. If you want to import your own videos, just go on to file over here click on import and then you can click on media and then you can uh you know import any kind of media so let's say i have this video instead and i can import this and view this so you can choose to use the video or use the audio let's say i want to use video and then i can drag and drop this in the bottom track over here like so now after that you will see in the first track you have your video below that you have your audio section now in your audio section what you can do so i'm just going to scroll back down so you can see over here in my audio section if i don't want the audio of anything i can just click on this and i can click on do a right click and you will click on remove to remove any of the videos that you don't want now i'm just going to zoom in a little into my video and you can click on your audio settings over here as well. So you have multiple different audio settings that you can add and you can lock a certain audio so you don't change it. You can also choose to mute it. So let's say I want to mute this, then I will mute it like so. And this is like our simple video preview that we can see. Now I'm just going to zoom out. So you can see this is like our basic video. Now I might want to change the uh, aspect ratio of the video. I might want to change uh, how it is fitting so for that i can just click on this section and you can see we have this viewer and we have this exporter as well so uh let's say i want to view it in full form and i just want it to be use video i'm going to drag and drop this like so so now i've imported the video as it is now the next thing you can see on the left side of your screen is your library. So over here you have a bunch of free items as well that you can integrate such as sounds. You have your media section as well. Then you have your effect section. So you have multiple different effects that you can add. You have audio effects, you have recents, 360 video effects, transitions, video transitions. So let's say I want to add fade to color. So you can just take this transition and you can add it to the master section in the bottom. 
so on and so forth and you can do this to connect multiple different videos together so if you want to include a page turn you can just add this to your favorites to also get easier access then after your effects you also have control history and text sections where you can manage the text that you are adding to your video as well and after that you can see in your edit section and effect section so uh you can enter any kind of effects but these effects are uh, all only available on the premium version of hitfilm so if you want to add any of those uh text features then you will have to upgrade to a more premium version but if we go into our workspaces now uh you can actually create separate workspaces for different kinds of work so you can click on 360 video editing create a separate workspace for that and you can import any kind of media but this really enables you to uh you know manage everything so let's say you want to do a 360 video editing of this specific section and then you can preview this open this up now this will give you a 360 preview of your specific section so how it's going to appear in 360 if that is the aspect ratio that you are going for now other than that, once you have completed, you know, going through, you know, basic trimmer functions and any of the basic things you want. So let's say that we have in our window, we have our layout. So you can choose to select the layout, how you want everything to appear. If you want to flip any of these items, so if I want to flip it like this, I can choose to do that over here like so. And then I can go ahead Choose the timeline or only the selection which I want to apply this to and now I can preview it if I want to flip it or not now I'm just going to click on this float container and I'm just going to move this to the side as well so I want to focus on this specific section now after that you can see your effects your controls and once you have completed your editing you can just click on export now and go into out area or contents now you also have add to queue and default preset so uh, let's say i want to frame this then i can select my output folder the file name that i want and i can get a framed version then i can click on export now contents and you can click on continue and then export the contents as they are so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video